What happens with a lot of women is we end up being the caregivers for our families and for other people. We take care of our kids, our parents, our neighbors, our friends, and before you know it, you're not taking care of yourself. So at some point, we have to learn how to step back and make sure our priorities are right. Because if we work ourselves, taking care of everybody else, and not taking care of ourselves, we're going to end up getting sick. Those people that we're taking care of aren't going to be cared for anymore. It's a matter of setting up your day in such a way that you prioritize things, and sometimes those things have to be you. It's okay to tell your kids, you know what, I can't do that right now. You need to give me 15 minutes by myself. And it's okay to tell your friends and your family, look, I can't do that. Ooh, that's another good question, and I have a lot of um, folks who are trying to lose weight. I think we are all definitely trying to be healthier, and it's a hard society to live in to, to be healthier. Stress will keep people from losing weight. The mechanism, the actual biochemical mechanism, is not fully understood. Um, there's some evidence that when our cortisol levels are higher, when we're stressed out, that that keeps us from burning fat cells the way we should, um, but it's not fully understood. I think the other thing that happens when people get stressed is they're not sleeping as well, and we do know that people who don't sleep as well don't lose weight. So being stressed out is actually a bad thing to be having happening to you if you're trying to get in shape and lose weight. A good thing that will fix that is exercise every day. It reduces the amount of stress you're feeling and it kickstarts your metabolism. So you get kind of a twofer situation. So I highly advocate the daily exercise um, and it definitely reduces your stress. Some studies have even shown that daily exercise is as good as taking in the depressant medicines. So, yeah. It will raise your blood pressure. We know that. It also puts you at a higher risk of heart disease. There's some evidence that stress will um, give you heart disease independent of your blood pressure readings. Keeps the pounds on, like we just talked about, harder to lose weight. Um, higher risk for just colds and flus and general illnesses, too. Stress is not a good thing. And the answer is yes or no, depending on your age and what health issues you have. If you're an otherwise healthy young woman who is planning to have children or is in that stage of having babies, then yes, your gynecologist can usually handle everything as long as you don't have any other health issues. What a lot of women end up doing is when they hit their 40s, their late 30s, early 40s, they're done with childcare, that's when they really start transitioning. The healthy women start transitioning into also having an internist or into having an internist that just takes care of everything at that point. And it especially becomes important by the time you're in your 50s and your 60s where diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, all those issues become more paramount than I'm going to have another baby. Now, for women who are in their 20s and 30s and are at that age where they're having babies, they need that gynecologist, that obstetrician, but who also have health issues like diabetes, a lot of times we do like to have them seeing both people. Um, because it makes it easier for the obstetrician, obviously, to have you know somebody who's more in tune with internal medicine, diagnoses and treatments on board. Our phone number to the internal medicine office here is 772-3490. Um, you just have to call, schedule an appointment. They sometimes ask questions about what kind of insurance or whether you have health insurance and that. That's screening questions. Um.